Hey guys, welcome to Knox Box. I am Knock himself. With me tonight is Cordy Orval. Good evening. We had a Kickstarter delivery this week. So, um, there was a Kickstarter, probably about four months ago now, not too long in Kickstarter terms. A game called Blood Rage was up. Really cool game, it's by uh, Eric Lang, who has done, well, he's basically worked on every top game out there. He's done, XCOM, yeah, he did Dice XCOM. Masters. He, he did Dice Masters? Uh, I know he, he, did, did he did the one World World, yeah, the yeah. Warhammer one. He, he, uh, he did a lot of the LCGs, the uh, uh, Game of Thrones He's been around one. for at least a decade. Basically, if it's a cool uh, game, he probably worked on it. And this is a game that he says he was working towards. It's based in Viking mythology. So the Vikings have the best end of time story. Ragnarok, Ragnarok. giant worms, ice giants, titans, massive wolves. Basically, gods come to Earth, fight against titans, humans are stuck in the middle and get decimated. But if you're a Viking, that's not necessarily a bad thing because you are fighting for glory and to get end up in Valhalla for endless drinking and more fighting. So this is the main game. This is what I pledged for. I got an early bird, about 70 bucks, I think, for that. And I paid 30 bucks for a fifth player expansion, which I thought, yeah, that's not bad. But obviously this is a Kickstarter, so freebies. Well, first off, we got a whole, all, all sneaking the boxes then. A whole new clan. This is the Wild Boar Clan expansion. So there's four clans in this. That's a fifth clan. And then that's an expansion for another clan. So you get that. With then you get tokens, boards. Gods of Asgard pack, which is a box with six more figures and six more god cards. Uh, what a shame. Uh, then we've got the fifth player expansion extras. So just for getting this, I get along with it. Another three more um, monster figures, and some more clan tokens, and more add-ons to make the game look cool. Then we've got Mystics of Midgard. So basically, for all of the clans, this gives them their... Shaman? Yeah, their Shaman, their holy person of sorts. So it's another ten yeah. figures in here. Yeah, uh, basically, these are the these are the more religious zealots. Um, the, the, which I guess you call them the Invoke religious leaders. The They're the religious leaders for each clan, and the closest to the gods. And then we start getting some Kickstarter exclusive figures. Where you've got the Wolf Man, who looks amazing, a Mountain Giant, a Mystic Troll, and Rob's favourite figure ever, Fenir, a massive wolf for the end times. These look pretty insane. So we're going to open up these boxes and show you inside their glory. Now, do you want to start this by doing the main box first? Or you do want to do a video of the small ones? Well, let's do a main box first, and then we can discuss through the actual components and the quality of them, because we haven't... All of these are still factory sealed. We haven't opened any of these up yet. Well, we can then discuss how this all, some of the game works and stuff like Absolutely. that. Absolutely, talk you through the gameplay, which we will then do filming in a second video with the actual gameplay of us trying it out. See how easy it is to learn. We're going to jump straight in on a three or four player game and go from there. Okay. So, we'll zoom in. Okay, so we're starting with Blood Rage, the main box. So, as usual, starting with the outside of the box, because that's... It's a big old box, isn't it? It's quite heavy as well. So you have, it looks like Ragnarok on the front, and if we spin round, we get to see some of the contents. Oh, now, that's a hell of a glare there, mate. You just pop it up slightly. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so you see it? Yep. As you said, Eric Lang, Adrian Smith did the artwork. He's done... He, he was an old work. Games Workshop old artist, Games isn't he? Workshop. I'm sure he's done some other stuff as well. Oh, it's just really to. nice, gritty artwork for this. So, come on, stop teasing us. Open up. You're now going to make see the figures. Fight the cellophane. It's a man that's open. Oh, look at that! No mucking around. Straight into there. Right. So hopefully, there's slightly less glare now. Right. Okay. Come on! Yeah, you can do it. Oh, there's seals. art on there as well. There is art on the side. Oh, okay. And that is check. That's chock a block, isn't it? Uh, there is not an air gap. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Right. Okay. So starting first, we have the rules of the game. Actually, that's not. That's surprisingly thin. That actually isn't too heavy. I'm not. I'm not too worried about trying to go through those. Um, that. Well, list of the components. That's a list of components, which makes life very quick and easy. And actually, set up. Set up card effects. Action. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. 
That looks Ooh, a little complicated. That, but that looks like someone's attacking. And okay. then you do, I think it's bonus cards? Yeah, I believe it's, you start off with, uh, when you, there's three ages to it. And at the start of the age, you start by drafting cards between you. And that produces your kind of actions you can do for the turn. Yeah. Then you spend your currency, which is rage, to do kind of all of your actual actions. What is that? This is the oh, boards. that's all the they're boards. Actually, individual. They're actually sealed together. Ah. which is well, I kept keep them safe, I guess. Yeah, this is where this will be the one where I will struggle with. And don't go. Deep. I'm actually really impressed with the packaging. Even the uh, cardboards had custom artwork on them. If I've got them. to compare it to a product on the market for packaging, I would say Zombicide. Well, it's good at in games. Yeah, yeah. And the, the, the I same think guys. The same guys. Absolutely. So they've got the packaging down. No. Now. We recently received another Kickstarter, which we won't say the name of Mantic, but how did you feel when you opened that up? With that big bag of just plastic. With no instructions, a very small, this stuck on the side, you know. How different is this to open? This is an exceptionally different one. Well, you think as a Kickstarter, everything's come as retail package? Yeah. So this is how I expect to see it on shelf, it, as well as in box. And now I've seen like this, there's no question about the fact I will be stocking this in the shop. Yeah, because... Oh! Sorry, that artwork looks amazing! Yeah, so this yeah. is the Adrian Smith artwork special. That's so that's fantastic. Odin. Yeah, with whoever he's backing is his Ooh. clan. So, what's the front side? So, these are the uh, these are clan boards. These are the clan so boards. So, you run through them. Um, uh, you've all got different ones. And each clan has a leader, the warriors, and the ship. And they can be upgraded later on with add-ons. Yes. Rage is your main currency that you use to activate things. Which you can spend to move or... So, these are the clan upgrades. Or to summon monsters. Okay, well that seems pretty good. So that's got everything you need on its simple battle boards. Yeah, and then you've got quests as well, which if you yes. achieve, you get additional bonuses. Well, I think that's then when through. you get the point. And you've got the list at the bottom. Presumably that might change for different clans of what they run on and what the costs are. So yeah, those are cool. So you've got bear, wolf, serpents, Raven. and ravens. And then you've got, later on when we do the next set of videos... You've got the other two Yeah, you've got well. boar, wild boar, and a fifth player. Yeah. Hmm. So. Super. Well, that's those. So that's those. next. So, excellent artwork. Nice card stock. Yeah. So, you have the phase board. Ah, so this lends out the whole game. This is how the game works. Each turn is split into parts. You've got the, um, the draft parts. Then you do the actions with the drafts. Then you discount down to hand side. Then you check to see how your quests have done. Uh, then... The end of the world happens, and the board gets destroyed partially. And then everyone in Valhalla goes back into the pools, so you can access them again for use later. Speaking of Valhalla... Oh, that is... Va oh, look at that artwork. That's gorgeous. I know you're not a fan of the rainbow bridge and things like that. I don't... That. Yeah, but it looks good there. However... Some of this might be a win condition for some people. Actually, yes, because... because for some of the quests... You win by having people have in Valhalla. Well, that's the goal of Vikings, wasn't it? it? Was to perform well enough in life to get to Valhalla. So, so if you have be enough people involving yeah, Valkyries, I believe the the way he said it is rather than turtling, if you battle often but consistently lose, you will do better than people that didn't battle and just built up their armies. Yeah, because which is really cool. Because I assume at that point you're getting your pillage um, stuff, your glory. No, it's more you get building up your rage. It's the glory just from going to Valhalla. Yeah. And actually, there's a whole there's a whole win mechanism based on just going to Valhalla and dying. Which is awesome. pretty awesome. Yeah, no, that's cool. Now, if you've noticed on here. Yes. There are three piles. Ah, uh, yes, for the different three ages. Because obviously, more go gods have more of a say and more of an effect yep. the further down Ragnarok they go. So, just make sure I've got. Ah, this so right. is this a pile of cards? This now, is a pile of cards. We'll so... go through all the cards properly when we play the game. Do you want to give us yep. a spread of what they look like? Well, if I do. So, that's the threes. Ah, okay. So, they all have the same back on them. So, I'm assuming they all have the same picture, but a different number on them. Yeah, there's the twos. Oh, so different picture, different cards. Different colour, then it's easy to tell. So, there's no chance of confusing them. Oh, wow. Now, look. And each card has its own artwork, and it yeah. all fits perfectly so with the game. So, you've got your different quest cards, you've got your battle yeah. cards. 
Because when you have so a battle phase... Ah, so when you draft the cards, you have to choose. If you're drafting for battle cards... Quest cards. Quest cards. Upgrade cards, I believe. Uh, yes, upgrade cards. Oh, that's cool. So you might go quite heavy on upgrade, but quite light, but then you can get the quest that you think, because of your upgrade, you can then go for. Absolutely. On battle cards, because you haven't gone heavily on top on upgrades, but you know you've got a combat trick every time. Yeah, which is very so cool. So that's, you know, you're going, oh, so it's a bit tight, but I've got this and thump you around the face with it. So all of this has come out of the box already and at the um, moment we I've haven't got, touched the box. I haven't touched the box. So next we have your four... Ah, uh, say so let's I... Oh, sorry. Look at me. I just want to get my hands on the counters of plastic. The counters of plastic. Oh, wow. Okay. They're nice because they're... Um... So they are made of a decent quality plastic. They're all the same symbol but they're different colours. Yeah. So one for each clan. So that's quite nice. And Simple. so those I believe those are victory point trackers. Because uh, similar to a I wasn't ticket sure to if ride. They were for the rage. Well they might be rage. They might be rage counters. But, but it did look like there were victory points around the edge of the board like Ticket to Ride has. Ah. When we get to the board Yeah oh yeah we haven't even got to the board yet. Even... <laughs> it's in the bottom. We haven't got there yet. I apologise. Um, do you want the big box or the little box? Uh, let's get those out and get the board out, and then um, we can put them on the board. I've got to get through the counters first, then. Really? This That's is guillotine a... games. This is a lot of stuff. Right. Counters. Okay, so, okay, Ragnarok counters for as you destroy the world. Uh, markers for your uh, different houses or your different clans. So these are all going to be effect markers, and the horn's probably first player, because it... I would guess. I assume there's some form of initiative. A horn would make sense for first player icon. Um, oh. I need to clear some stuff on the table. Really? Really. Uh-oh. Is this the board? Yes. Or is it going to be quite big? Yes. Now, it looks like a, a Risk-esque board, or similar to the Cthulhu Wars board. Obviously, you know, we're near that size. But it does have different you areas on it which you're exploring. Mouse. Well, I would, I would, I would guess. Oh, okay. So there's a quarter of it, and those are victory point trackers around the edge, almost yes. definitely. Try not to destroy or damage anything. It's, it's put together well, isn't it? So actually, it's, it's, it's a arrived really safely. Very, very nice packaging. So it's Ooh. double sided. No, no, it's not double sided. No, no, that'll be that'll insane. Be, that'll be nuts. But even oh, so, wow. so, the world tree and the realms to go with it. That's amazing. So these are the different areas you get to invade and pillage the villages and have battles on. And Ragnarok yeah. slowly destroys all these areas until there's nothing yeah, left. Yeah, so the Ragnarok fades, won those areas, bang! I think, yeah, I think it's but three you, a time? Um, glory from that. Yes, when the area At is destroyed... The first stage. Ah. Three for the second, four for the last. And it might be a case that you've got all your guys in one air, Ragnarok, but then you get the Valor for it because they've all gone to Valhalla. Yes. So you might go, someone might go, I've got this huge army, and they might get lucky, but someone might be fighting and other things like that. Absolutely. No, it looks really cool. So if I oh, leave the round, Yeah, and we'll leave the board there to put the figures on, I think, because it just looks awesome on the backdrop. So, That's a really cool looking board. For this as a as a seventy five dollar game or seventy got an early bird, that's amazing already without that's even looking at the extras. It's an exceptional price point for this because. So wait a sec. All these all these boxes are empty, right? Or just contain cardboard tokens? And there's no these two here. There's no figures, are there? Because you know that's a great amount we've already got. I would be exceptionally happy with just this at that price point because the artwork's excellent, the card stock's really good. It means it's a forty-five to fifty-pound game. It's ninety-nine cards. It, it, it's a decent <laughs> quality. It's amazing quality. Right, crack the boxes open. Right. Okay. Um, big one is almost definitely going to be monsters, I would guess, and a little one be heroes. Um, oh, just crack it open and see. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, sorry, no, there's not monsters and heroes, are there? Sorry, I'm, I'm so used to zombie side. No, no, this is going to be clans. So I clans. guess that's going to be warriors, and that's going to be your special characters. Right, would you like to see special characters first? Warriors first. You want to see warriors Start first? with generic. There are a lot of them. Yeah, they upgraded the number of different sculpts and things during the campaign. I love the way Kickstarters did. do that, opening more oh. and more up. As usual, wow. guillotine games are excellent for their packaging. Yeah. Now... Okay. 
I'm going to have to get right up and over to have a good look at you all of are. these. So, do you want a basic clear background? Oh, wow. No, no, these are okay. So these are the it. ships. That's your four ships, your factions. Oh, look at these figures. So those are heroes for one of the clans? Uh, if I look at the back of the box so I can sing out what you've got. I've got a bit of a trouble of bendy spears, but I'll heat oh, all those that's out. that's fine. So you've got a standard bearer, and then for each faction, they will have themed warriors. So you've got someone wow. should be holding a... Yeah, so there's when you've, there's your there's your four standard bearers Sorry. for each of your clans. Oh, yes. Oh, and so then, each clan has one of those. And then each clan looks like they have a themed... Warband, as it were. And then the blue figures are the gods or titans. So those are the gods. So you've got Odin, Frigga... How do you tell them apart, though? Because all the figures are the same kind of colour. It's a bit hard to tell them apart. Oh! What is that bag? Guess what you tell them apart by. <laughs> are those ring bases? Like, um... They were going to... I think they were going to put these in the new zombie side, the Black Plague version. So I'm assuming, uh, no, no, they'll go everywhere. everywhere. We'll open those but up when yes, we play the game. Those are ring bases, and they're coloured for your clan. Now, I know the small ones are for all of these figures. Those big ones are quite a lot bigger. Ooh. Give me a second. Now, how big do you like your mythical monsters? Mythical monsters, the bigger the better. Uh, good, because I need a slightly... Whoa! Box. This isn't Cthulhu Wars. Are you sure? That's insane! Oh, that is a beast! Look at him! That's the medium-sized one. The quality of those sculpts. It's its amazing for... This is plastic, isn't it? It feels almost like resin. I mean, no, I it is saw, plastic. I was going to say something like resin, or dare I say it, res stick, or something of that ilk. That's plastic, but with the amazing detail. And it's a one-piece mould? Yes. Oh, no, no, the head might be separate. The front of the very front of this head is separate. The rest of it is one piece. It all comes put together. Where I wow! Don't think this. And one... how many do we get? Four of those. So. Oh, look at him with that rock. I think this one, that one. So being... these are the titans. That one's arms were separate and being placed on just because I can look in carefully. But this is my favourite. Wait, sorry, I mean, oh, oh no, no, sorry, I shouldn't say that, but a sea serpent, because, you know, you need oh. you, you need the urn that crosses across the entire world, the Oberus. That's insane, so this, that. guys, uh, I think it's the Ouroboros, yeah. something like that, Ouroboros, eating I'd, its yeah. own tail, absolutely, the, yeah, so, um, this is, that is, the main box. That is a huge amount. So we won't open up all the extra boxes right now. We'll have to do as a separate video. I think we'll do that as we after we played the game. Oh, actually, actually, do you want to open up the uh, special freebie figures? Now? Yeah, let's go for the four freebie figures because these okay. are amazing. So first we have a mountain giant. So if you backed it for the um, game, you got a couple of these for certain. I think you got the wolf and two or three of them. And the other ones come as the World War Clan expansion, the fifth player expansion, I believe. Okay, so starting with the mountain giant. Oh, it's over to the side. Oh, nice. So I'm assuming you get the figure and what a card for it figure maybe? And a small set of cards by the So way. these figures are these cards drafting cards. These cards are drafting cards. So you because draft you these spend to join rage you and you buy them. Ah, so, so you draft the card and that gives the option to spend rage to buy them so there's and the use card. them. So this mountain giant costs 3 rage it says there. And it counts as a leader and it's an upgrade you can get to control a monster and then you get that beast. Wow. Because okay. that's the tactical thing of the drafting, is you could be quite monster heavy, or someone could have combat tricks, or someone could have other things. So it makes it play very, very differently, depending on how you draft. Actually, I really want to play this game now. I really want to dig into this. Later. No, no, let's call a couple of guys. Let's play it. I haven't finished unboxing the rest of the big thing. Oh, we'll unbox the rest of it another time. This looks amazing. I want to play it now. Can we agree that this looks like an amazing Kickstarter? It does look exceptional. I'll be interested to see how this plays out. Fantastic, so stay tuned for a gameplay video later. Until next time.